Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 43, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called Untainted TP2. All right, let's see who they've banned. All right, future Ant-Man, Kingpin, Ghost, no one that I usually bring in. Um, so should be good there. Uh, as you can see, we have not started yet. We're still in the uh, discussion phase. Uh, I take path three in both sections one and two. So uh, these guys did a very good job of their defensive placements. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Normally, we will try to bring in a team of three people that can take one mini on the left-hand side and one path, okay? So that would mean, you know, ideally, I can choose one good counter that'll take out one path, another good counter that'll take out the other path, and then I'm free to choose someone who can take out one of these minis and possibly also help out on Mini Boss Island. For example, you see Korg over here in the uh, Stunning Reflection node over there. Uh, you know that I'm uh, usually good at fighting him with Diablo. So if I could use Diablo for one of these minis, then that would be perfect, okay? Um, had that been man thing, I might have done that. But let's take a look at who I'm dealing with here. So we've got Mysterio. Now, Mysterio is an annoying defender at the best of times, right? So I'm like, okay, well, um, I do have a few options uh, there. But then you have uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Now, on this node, I have to be careful because Cosmic Ghost Rider does get armor ups, which means that I have to deal with the power burn and the damage that, you know, comes from these nodes here. All right. So I can't just bring in anybody. So now I have to have a, a counter for Cosmic Ghost Rider. And the what I usually do is I usually bring in like Gallon or um, Namor for an easy time. Anybody that gets armor ups on this path, but Mysterio doesn't. So that means that I need to have someone like if I can take Mysterio with Gallon, we're good. Okay. So then we've got these minis, and we've got my next path, and both of these get armor ups, and they're both on nodes where that makes a difference, okay? Now, check this out. So I can bring Claire in, she's bleed immune, and can take this Nimrod. No problem, right? But then, can she take Omega Sentinel? Well, no. Even though she can nullify, look at the nodes here. Okay? Every armor up, a chance to glance. That's annoying. And she gets a lot of armor ups. Not only that, but you can see that if I strike her while she has an armor up, and remember, she gets a lot of armor ups, um, there's a 15% chance. It says 15%, read 100% chance for the attacker to be inflicted with a shock debuff. So I need to bring in somebody that is shock immune because, you know, 50% of the attack plus the enhanced shock, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt bad. So... You want somebody who's shock immune. So I can't use Claire to just sweep that path. 
I and I might be able to use Gallon to sweep this path. All right, and we've got the minis. So if I bring Claire in, Claire could actually do the um, Mysterio fight. Okay. Can do the Mysterio fight. And then Gallon could do the uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Then Claire could do this first mini with Doom. Okay. There's the nodes there. Okay. Um, that personal space regeneration and all of that is very annoying, but Claire can nullify those. Okay, so the fight can go a little bit faster. You don't have to try to stay away, and you can just kind of fight like you normally would fight. Um, now, if this particular uh, defender has uh, MD, Mystic Dispersion, it can be even more of a pain. All right, so we'll see how that goes because that, that can be a very dicey fight. Anytime I see a Mystic on that node, assume they have the uh, MD. And those placebo buffs, when they expire, is going to feed it. So you really want to get this guy down quickly, okay? So I'm going to probably take that... Um, that doom with Claire. Then Claire can take this Nimrod, and then I'm going to bring in Hulkling for this uh, Omega Sentinel. She's shock immune, and he should be able to handle um, handle her just fine. I fought her with Hulkling before on that node. All right. So that is the plan going in. We'll see how well I can execute it. Um, may not be a, a simple task. The fight that I'm most concerned about is that Doom fight. Hopefully uh, Claire can uh, handle it. I may go ahead and pop a invulnerability boost uh, just in case. That way, you know, I can tank a, a special three provided I don't get hit. That'll give me a nice little uh, safety cushion. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. Going in with Gallon, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Hulkling. Very, very powerful team. All right. And uh, already have uh, left side started uh i believe he's on a, a different time zone so it's good that he uh starts out all right first fight is against mysterio and from my memory he doesn't gain any armor ups which means don't really need gallon however just in case he does we've got hulkling because Hulkling uh, can't be power burned. So that is why I went in with uh, Hulkling here. All right. Come on. There we go. Love to build up my um, Pierce buffs. And the AI sometimes doesn't like me to do that. Yep, yep, yep. Special one. He can be so annoying, but at least I, I understand how to fight him now. Now, how that happened, I don't know. I actually, when I was fighting this fight, I looked up to see if he was somehow unblockable. I was like, he wasn't unblockable, was he? How did he How did he get me? I don't know. And there we go. Did he know I was going to do that? And therefore, you know, had to get that little uh, lick in? I don't know. And one of the things that makes that so annoying... See, if that happens in um, Alliance Quest or Arena, not a big deal. In Alliance War, though, every time stuff like that happens, 
you're going to end up having to use potions to heal up and things like that. So it can make your war a lot more expensive. Now, this guy does get armor ups. See, look at that. As soon as you hit him, bam, armor up. But look at, look at Gallon. He's Gallon food. Yummy. Look at that. Hit him with it, bam. This is Sparta. Boom. Done. And that's why I bring Gallon. Now, could Hulkling have done that fight? I believe so. He could do that fight as well. But why do that when you have Gallon? And makes the fight very quick. 16 seconds. That's all that fight took. Now we've got Doom. Dr. Doom. And a lot of people consider him the best mystic. Him, Longshot, Claire. My personal favorite is Claire. I think she is the best. But let's see. We're going up against Doom, and he is no joke, especially on this note. All right, so there we go. We got some uh, poison. We're nullifying that regen, but we got these placebo buffs on us, and Dr. Doom is a mystic. So my opponent can very easily have mystic dispersion. So because I have that uh, shock on me right now, I'm staying away from him a little bit, and I'm trying not to push him too hard. All right, now this is unblockable. Ah, good thing I had that invulnerability uh, boost on. Okay, so there we go. And I'm like, okay, maybe I don't wanna have him go to his special two. Usually I do, but I'm not so good at evading his special two. And when you get hit with his special two, it really hurts. All right, so you see now I changed up a little bit and I'm baiting out his special one. Okay, much easier to evade. And I'm just, look at that, buff immunity. Yes, sir. And he caught me, but he's got buff immunity, so I could just block that. Don't have to worry about it. He can't get the unblockable buff if he's got buff immunity. Okay, so we want to bait this out again. Don't ask me why that happened. She just stood there. I've been evading that all this time. Look, I evaded that one, and she just stood there. That type of thing really ticks me off, and it throws me off, too, because I'm like, Okay, I can't trust my swipes. And so I get really, you know, nervous now. But I'm just like, okay, see, I don't even want to go in. Just bait, bait, you know, let the placebos fall off. There we go. I was playing it super safe at the end because obviously I could not trust my evade. You know, it's one thing if I evade early or something like that. But when you see me just stand there and eat it, you know I'm not doing that. So anyway, we got him down. She's hurt real bad. So if I need to use her again, I'm going to have to heal her up. And that stuff is expensive. Um, and I guess that's how they want to keep it. All right. So the middle got cleared. And I'm on to my next fights. All right. So didn't have to worry about that many. Now we've got... Nimrod, he gains uh, armor ups, right? We know this, which means I need a bleed immune. And that's why I brought in Claire. So now I got to use health potions. Don't like using them, but hey, it is what it is. Now I could have gone in here and, you know, I'm going to stay in blood and basically heal up, you know, but I was like, never mind. Let's not play around with it. Those thorns, you don't have to worry about if you bleed immune. So we can just go in here. You know, starts off with an armor up. So let me tell you what sometimes happens. Uh, you come in here with somebody who can armor break or um, nullify, right? And you hit them. There's a chance that you'll get the bleed on you and then nullify it. And that bleed hurts. 
It hurts real bad. And I got scared right here. That could have ended the fight. He was unblockable. And if I did not evade that special two, fight would have been over. She's not shocking you. And fight would have been over right there. I have lost fights before where he was all the way down. Just needed like a one more combo. And got caught by his special two. And he took me out. So yeah, Nimgod is nasty. And I don't even play with him. Okay? You see, I'm, I'm not trying to push him to a special two anymore. Okay? And there we go. What? Unblockable. No! But I evaded it. I don't always get the evade properly. But I was like, no. I do not want to have to, you know, use any more health potions, you know, um, if I want to use her again. So that fight went pretty well straightforward. Now, I can't use her for this fight because lots of armor ups and it's the same situation. It's really annoying how they do that. One node, the first node, has the bleed. Then the other node has a shock. Who's bleed and shock immune? Leave a comment if there's anybody that's bleed and shock immune. But anyway, he's shock immune, so I had to bring in... Uh, somebody who could do the fight on the first path and Hulkling is beautiful for it. okay there's only been one time where the defense was such that I didn't have any good counters to be able to take any minis it was all I could do to take my path and there was one I think one, one time we had to switch paths I think I ended up switching and taking path two. And they took path three. Because of the defenders. Now, see, see, when that kind of thing happens, it really annoys me. Did you see what happened? I really don't think the AI should be able to parry. They don't miss parries like we do. There's no chance for them to miss the parries. The only chance is that you're stun immune. So that the parry won't actually stun you. That's it. And they have perfect timing of course they'll just be standing there right and you go to attack them bam you know and you're like okay i know i do that but you shouldn't be able to do that just not fair but anyway you know at least they they need a chance to fail there we go and boom lay down and go to sleep hulkling is a beast he is in the running for my well one of my ascensions okay now uh i didn't take this guy but we have uh one more fight one more fight left okay and who did i use i think it was uh again claire i believe i used claire um corner who was it? Yeah, Korg. So, like I said, the other fight, I didn't want to have to heal her up again. So I'm happy that I was able to evade that special one of Nimrod's. Unblockable special one. Now, I'm good at fighting Korg. I remember when I wasn't. I remember when there weren't good counters and I was using Corvus against him. And I never learned the light intercept. If you can light intercept really well, you can take Korg with almost anybody. Okay? But I can't. So I got to get a, a good option. Now, Claire is a good option because she does energy attacks. So I don't have to worry about light intercepting. Okay? I just do my regular intercept. Shattered the shield. But I can't. Now, at this point, I normally could uh, stun. But you can't. Not on this node. Hate this node. But... I've become professional at it. Uh, a long time ago, when this node first came in, I complained to high heaven about it because I had to adjust, and I'm not good at adjusting. Once I do adjust, I'm good. But that process of learning, basically, I had to fight him, stun immune, and you'll notice I do a lot of blocking. 
uh, you know, baiting out his heavies and specials and just blocking his attacks, okay? And intercepting, of course. Now, one of the reasons that I love, <laughs> I just messed that one up. Uh, one of the reasons that I love using Claire, not only does she do energy so I can just fight him like normal. Um, there you go. That's how you evade it. Uh, but if I get really low, I can heal up. But I'm like, nah, I don't need to heal. The only thing I need to do is not accidentally parry. And it was, uh, especially around that time, it was really annoying because you could easily parry by accident. Like I'm evading back and it parries me. And that's usually the fight on this note. And that was happening to me a lot. You know, I wasn't trying to parry. Ooh, that annoyed me. Made me hate this node even more. All right, but here you go. We're getting down to it. And we got plenty of time. You know, we're not timing out. Okay. And here we go. Hit him with it. Boom. And that's it. Pretty good, pretty good fight. Um, could have been better, but we won. It's our last fight of the war. So, uh, I believe at this point, well, we'll wait. We'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately we lost this war. What I was going to say uh, earlier was that I was pretty sure at this point we already knew we had lost this war but I figured I would just wait until uh, now to tell you guys that um, take a look at the um, look at look at look at this we got smoked uh, one of the guys from uh, this alliance uh, sent me a message and and he was very nice um, but we really got smoked this was definitely not our finest hour, okay? Uh, we are still in tier two, but we really need to, um, to win this next war. Now, the war, you know, it wasn't a complete blowout, okay? You can see the score here. Not that huge of a difference in score, but still, you know? We could have done a lot better, a lot better on this war. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.